Hello and welcome to another Java tutorial. In this tutorial we will going to be learning how you can take an input from the user through a command prompt. So we will going to be creating our Java class here just like we have created in the past projects. And we're going to be getting rid of the extra comments. Let's say I have a variable called age. And I would like the user to be entering the value for this variable age. In the absence of, for, for, in the absence of user being able to enter the value for the variable age, I would have to put a value for the variable age. And I would have to display it, just like we have learned in the earlier tutorials, However, the only extra feature that we would like to add over here is to be able to take the input from the user. At this point in time, if I run this, it will going to show me down here in the console that the age is 10 because that's what the value for the variable is. The idea is to be able to take the input from the user as opposed to hard coding the value in the variable. So we will going to be taking the input from the user right over here after the variable gets dis assigned a value and after the variable gets declared and before we get to display the value of the variable. For this purpose, we take help from a special Java built-in class called Scanner. This class Scanner is not available to you in java.lang package. Therefore, you may have to write an import statement. That is why as soon as you write the Scanner class, it gives you an error message because it does not understand it. But bringing your mouse over, it gives you some suggestions. Would you like to import? Or you could also go under source and you can say organize imports. Either way, it writes the line java.util.scanner. The scanner class belongs to java.util package. Now I can be creating an object of type scanner. I'm calling it input. And I would like to tell the Java that this will going to be taking the input. That's why I'm using the in object from the system which is basically representing my computer. So it is taking an input from the system. So this is why it is taking an input from the prompt. However, now I need to redirect the input which is sitting in the prompt into the respective variable. And as you might have learned in the earlier programming classes that all inputs must be preceded by some kind of a prompt message just which tells the person what kind of input to enter. So I will going to be writing this prompt message for my users. Enter an age. And then I will going to be accepting the value for age. The syntax for that is I will be using an object of type scanner, which is input. Dot, since the data type of age is int, therefore I will going to be picking next int. If the data type of age was float, I would pick next float. So based on the data type, the scanner class has defined several different methodologies. Now when I run this program, the first thing it asks me is enter an age. Now I can enter an age, let's say 45. Okay. The reason 45 went under the next line, because in my prompt I use println. So the moment I press enter, it reports back, says the age is 45. Now let me get rid of this println. And let me rerun this app. Now notice the 45 gets to appear right in front. And as soon as I press enter, it will going to display me that age is 45. So this is how you can be accepting an input from the user in Java. Thank you for watching this tutorial. See you another one.